గురుభ్యో నమ అందరికీ నమస్కారములు శుభోదయం టుడే ఇస్ అనదర్ గుడ్ డే ఫర్ అస్ దట్ ఫోర్త్ డే ఆఫ్ యోగా క్లాసెస్ బై సిఎస్ఆర్ తెలుగు గారు యాజ్ పార్ట్ ఆఫ్ త్రీ మంత్స్ సర్టిఫికేట్ కోర్స్ ఆన్ సనాతన్ ధర్మ సో లెట్ ఎస్ స్టార్ట్ విత్ వందే మాత్రం ఇన్ ప్రార్థన దెన్ వీల్ గో ఫర్ యోగా వందే మాతరం వందే మాతరం సుజల సుఫల మలయజీతల శ్యామల మాతరం వందే మాతరం సుబ్రజ్యోత్స్నాపులకితీ పుల్లకుసుమితృమదళశోభి సుహాసిని సుమధురభాషిణి సుఖదాం వరదాతరం వందే మాతరం వందే మాతరం శ్రీ గురుభ్యో నమ వన్ మినిట్ మెడిటేషన్ క్లోజ్ అవర్ ఐస్ రిలాక్స్ ద బాడీ total concentration on breath mata pitru charana kamale dio namaha let us salute let us pray our parents who brought us to this world om గణపతి గుంహవామహే కవిం కవీనాపమశ్రవస్తమం జయష్టరాజం బ్రహ్మణాం బ్రహ్మణస్పత ఆన శృణ్వన్ను తిరిసీదసాదనం మహాగణపతయే నమ ప్రణో దేవి సరస్వతి వాజే దిర్వాజినీవతి ధీనామవిత్యవతు వాగ్దేవ్యై నమ గురుర్వ గతిర్ గురుమేవ భజే గురునైవ సహాస్మి నమో గురవే న గురో పరమం శిశురస్మి గురో మతిరస్తి గురౌ మమ పాహి గురో జ్ఞానందమయం దేవం నిర్మల స్ఫటికాకృతి ఆధారం సర్వ విద్యాం హయగ్రీవముపాస్మహే శృతిస్మృతిపురాణానామాలయం కరుణాలయం నమామి భగవత్పాదశంకరం లోకశంకరం శంకరం శంకరాచార్యం కేశవం బాదరాయణం సూత్రభాష్యకృతౌ వందే భగవంతౌ పున పున ఈశ్వరో గురురాత్మేతి మూర్తి భేద విభాగినే వ్యోమవద్వ్యాప్తేహాయ దక్షిణామూర్త నమ ఓ సహనావతూ 
ಸಹನೌ ಭುನಕ್ತು ಸಹ ದೀರ್ಘಂಕರ ವಹೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿ ನವದೀತಮಸ್ತಮಾವಿಷಾವಹೈ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತ ಶಾಂತ ಶಾಂತಿ ಅರಿ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಅರಿ ಓಂ ಧನ್ಯವಾದಗಳಂಡಿ ಅನಂತನ್ ಗಾರು so there is request to csr prabhu garu to start the webinar please can all of you stand up straight direct we'll be starting the yogic sukshma vyayama together and start we can short breath to clean the throat then maro nadi shakti vikas our gurus then buddhi tatha triti shakti vikasak padhi back portion of head concentrate here and repeat so here enter portion at 45 degrees then here close your eyes for this portion the alpha guys to the other lights keep your finger 8 inches away from your eyes and lift your eye along with your finger and keep watching until your eyes close when the eyes burn close your eyes and come six times organized for the teeth and cheeks kapola kshetra vikasak six times all of you have to stand up and do it correctly repeat together close your eyes when you press it into the chest and ಕರ್ಣಶಕ್ತಿ ವಿಕಾಸ ಕೀಪ್ ಯುವರ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕ್ಲೋಸ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿ
six times without removing from the S. Next for the neck, shift your neck left and right. Riva Shakti task number one. And then number two, up and down. Number three, rotation. So Sukshma Amma is very powerful. If you do this neck exercise, you will not get any neck problems. If they are there, they can be cured, like cervical coronaries. And if you do the Hanes activities, you don't have ear problems. If you do the Oboros activities, you don't have gum problems, eye problems. So every active, every body organ is activated, Shakti Vikasak. So Viva Shakti Vikasak number four is to pull up the neck upwards. <laughs> Now we have the shoulders, skandha tatha bahu mura shakti vikasak for the shoulder joints. Breathe into the mouth like tongue and spoon, hold the breath and move the shoulders up and down. Next is for the hands. Keep the hands in right angles. Take deep breath and push forward. Next. Open the fingers. Next, stretch fingers. Next. Rotation, close them.
Maribanda Shakti Vikasa for the rich joints, a friend of rheumatic pains, arthritic pains, all kinds of pains will go. With your fist closed, first. fist closed, then open Karatana Shakti Vikasa palm joints. Then Karapushta Shakti Vikasa, stretch the fingers. Then Anguli Mura Shakti Vikasa, for the fingertips. Just leave it loose, shake and leave it loose. Now, to pull a big weight towards you, Then sideways. Then Akshas Tharashakti Vikasa. Breathe in and lift the hands and go back. Always keep your feet together. Drop. Next, so the lower chest, lift your shoulders up and bend backwards. Then for the abdomen, Udara Shakti Vikasak number one. Breathe out and fully abdomen inside. and backward.
కావాలి ముందుకి వెనక్కి గాలి పిలిచినప్పుడు ముందుకి గాలి ఉన్నప్పుడు Number two, stretch your legs as much as you can. Maximum. And hold your tongue like this. Breathe in, go back, breathe out, come forward and touch the hip to the ground. Number three. <coughs> 
Legs apart. Okay, now go to Shavasana.
Take deep breath. Start to the left. center Turn to the right. Come back to the center. See the breath going in and coming out.
You can do yoga nidra on your own. I will not uh, speak, but now you can start without speaking, without uh, hearing anything. You can do it on your own. I've already told you two times how to do yoga nidra.
Okay, now we get up slowly. <coughs> Padmasam and start doing para. Take deep breaths from left and exhale to the right and bring the right and exhale to the left using the thumb and middle finger closing the eyes and keeping the head straight and back straight. You can hold for a short while, but you need to pay attention.
You know, take full breath, maximum 200 cc you can take. So the pranayama comprises of left and right. Left is ida nadi or coolness. Right is pingala nadi or heat. So ha and tha. So balancing both is called hatha yoga. So if uh, one of the two is hyperactive, then there will be so many health problems. Like uh, right is more active, then you'll get uh, heat in the body. You'll get uh, giddiness. Aityam, sunstroke, all kinds of things. If the cold is too much, then you'll have cold, cough, fever, or nonsense like that. So, what is in essential is both should be equal. So, right and left should be equal. Prana, apana, amar. So, when you take to the left and give to the right and take equally, then you are balancing the entire body. Parasympathetic and sympathetic nervous systems are balanced, right side and left side of the brain. So the left to right, right to left equal. <coughs> if you want, you can get heat in cold season. Now we will do the Surya Veda. That will inhale only to the right and exhale only to the left. Again, inhale only to the right, exhale to the left. If you do it 20 times, you'll get a lot of heat in the body. If you want. If you don't want, you want normal. If you are in Delhi, you may require heat. Just do Surya Veda, inhale to the right, hold for some time, exhale to the left. Again, inhale to the right, hold for some time, exhale to the left. So go on doing for uh, three minutes. Or five minutes maximum, you will get heat in the body. You can remove your clothes in daily winter also. Of course, if you are in the Vijayawada temple, then you don't require heat, you require normal balance. So, for summer, we have cooling pranayamas also. I will not teach them today because it's a cold season. So, best thing is equal left and right, right and left. Do once again for another three minutes. Okay, now we go for meditation. First stage, observe your thoughts. Now 
Second stage, observe your breathing. Feel the breath going in and coming out. Third stage, synchronize the sound so um, with the breathing. Inhalation, so and exhalation in heart. Elementary, no sound produced. So hum becomes hum so in the reverse. Like Rama became Mara in the reverse. Hum so means hamsa, parama hamsa. That is paramatma. Hum so hum so hum so hum means you are meditating on paramatma, which is within you. <coughs> Hamsa Hamsaya Vidmahe Parama Hamsaya Dhimahe Tanno Hamsa Prachodaya Hamsa Nama Sada Shiva Deho Deva Proctos Jivo Deva Sanatana Deva Jarn is my own way. So, this is a Manasa Puja, Hamsa Hamsa with my Arama Hamsa and he Mahi, but no Hamsa Prajodaya. This meditation is available in the Mahanyasam. I quoted you Sridokas from Mahanyasam. Deho Devaya Prokto Dijivo Deva Sanatana Tyaje Rajar Nirmanyam Soham Bhave Napuri Soham Hamsa Hamsa Vitai Soham Hamsa Hamsa Soham so ham ham sa ham sa so ham ham sa ham sa yin mahe param ham sa yadhi mahi tanno ham sa prachodaya Sora was a Shivaha. So 
finally we go into total blindness. Then finally, home. All of you do home along with me. Take deep breath. Omkaram Bindu Samyuktam Sadajayanti Yoginaha Kamadam Moksharam Chaiva Omkarayanamo Namaha Omkarayanamo Namaha Omkarayanamo Okay, open your eyes. And today we'll go for the theory class now. On the Yara Yoga. Yagandhya Brahma Satyam Jivo Brahmaeva Naparaha. This is the Adi Shankaracharya's statement of summarization of Advaita Vedanta. The Jnana Yogi believes that Brahman is the only reality. Brahman means Om. The Mandukya Upanishad, Om Itya Kaksham Brahma. Brahman has been identified as Om in the Mandukya Upanishad. And 
we have the Patanjali Yoga Sutras also identifying Om with Ishvara Tasya Vachaka Pranava Tajapastadha Bhavanam. So the importance of Om cannot be enhanced more than what it is already known. Brahman is described as perfection. That is, what is the definition of Brahman or God is nothing but Satchidaranda. Sat, Satchit and Aranda. Total perfection, totality. And now the rest of the world, the universe which you see and including yourself, so-called Jiva, is just an illusion. It is only Brahman which is the reality. It is the eternal unknowable. It cannot be known because if it has to be known, there has to be a separate knower and the known and the knowledge process. Both three things should exist. But there is only one. So three don't exist. So it is not knowable. It is eternal, unknowable subject. It is not an object. It is a subject. That means when you say I, 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 you are saying you are the subject. And when you say you or it, then it is an object. So Brahman is the subject. Brahman appears as universe because of Maya. It is an unknowable subject, yet it can be realized through Discrimination and renunciation, Viveka and Vairagya. Through Viveka and Vairagya, it is possible to know or realize, not know through mind, but realize through intuition or through self-realization or God-realization. It is not knowing, but realization, revelation, experience, transcendental experience. So Brahman appears as universe because of Maya. And Maya is the power that obstructs our understanding of the reality. Once the cover of Maya is removed through discrimination, Viveka and renunciation or Vairagya, between the appearance and the real and the true self, that is Brahman and universe are one and the same. This is liberation. This knowledge that Jagan Mithya, Brahma Satyam, Jivo, Brahma Evana, Paraha is moksha, is liberation. The Jiva or individual self has all the attributes of Brahman. It is divine. It is not the mind, nor the senses, nor the body. He is the subject who knows the objects, but cannot be an object of some subject. He cannot be known by the mind and senses which perceive the objects. The real self within man cannot be known because of Maya. Under the influence of Maya, the self is identified with the mind, senses and the body. Now, this can be easily proven. If you ask, who am I? Then if you say you are the body, your body is changing continuously. Sometimes it changes so drastically it is not recognizable. Yesterday, I went to one marriage and the bride whom I saw in my house a few years ago was totally a different person with the bride who was sitting in the marriage. Cannot be recognized. So within a few years, people change, the body changes drastically. So not to speak of the entire life, 
this child babyhood your small size body two feet then it becomes taller and taller and taller then it becomes fatter and fatter and fatter then it becomes old and dies but the self the nature of the self i i the one who is feeling inside i is not changing it is remaining same so i cannot be the body and obviously i cannot be all the activities of the body or parts of the body and also the mind i cannot be the mind because mind is going on changing and in deep sleep there is no mind at all now in deep meditation we have reached a stage where we have stopped the mind at the end we remember we became blank that means there is no mind but you existed you can't say i didn't exist because you came back after that so you are not the mind you are not the body you are not the mind naham deho nendriyanyam tarangam nahankara prana vargo na buddhi you are not the intellect you are not the ego dara patyakshetra vittadi dura sakshi nitya you are always there pratyagatma you are experiencing yourself 24 hours non stop continuously shivoham you are blissful so the method of attaining perfection through jnana yoga is based on the philosophy of advaita vedanta shankaracharya expounded visishtavada or mayavada according to this theory i'm not talking of visishta advaita we are talking of visishtavada or mayavada according to this theory brahman manifests itself as the universe and appears as many bahusyam prajayayeti this illusion can be overcome illusion means maya this maya or illusion can be overcome by the light of awakened conscious enlightened heightened awakened consciousness by which the real can be distinguished from the unreal so what appears is actually unreal another proof i'll tell you if you ask what is this universe the answer which you get from every individual will be different everyone sees a different universe every living being not only human every human sees a different universe every living being sees a different universe for example if you ask an ant what is your universe the ant will give a totally different answer from what a cat can give a cat will give a different answer from what a animal like cow can give or a human like man can give because cat can see in infrared heat darkness also you cannot see so the universe which every individual sees is different so there is no single answer for the universe and uh, uh, simplified childish theories you know say that you know uh, god, god created universe in seven days allah ne kayanat ko banaya this kind of theories people give to fool the ignorant people who don't know anything so nobody can explain first of all what is universe let alone tell who created when and how so according to jnana yoga the individual is composed of three bodies the three bodies are sthula sharira sukshma sharira and karana sharira sthula sharira is the physical body composed of five elements it is sustained by food the sukshma sharira or the subtle body stays inside the body and uses the body for its expression it consists of the 14 tattvas chitta or thought waves are created where thought waves are created then buddhi the basic intelligence ahankara ego consciousness manas the mind the five pranas prana apana vyana udana samana and the five tanmatras things in cells that means the subtle forms of the five senses the sight hearing touch smell the, the third of karna sharira or 
causal body is the innermost body. It consists of the seed of avidya. It is very minute. Angusthamatro purushaha. The Upanishad says it is not more than size of a small thumb impression. It consists of the seed of avidya. The consciousness may be may stay here. The real self or Atman stays beyond the three bodies. It has these three covers. Like I can wear, you know, one shirt, then I can wear one sweater, then I can wear one coat. So like that, three sheets, three bodies exist, but the self, I am different from my sweater and coat. So similarly, the self is different from the bodies which are the sheets which has, koshas, pancha koshas, but here we are seviras, three seviras, thul sevira, sukh sevira and karan sevira. Now coming to the pancha koshas, annamaya kosha, pranamaya kosha, manomaya kosha, vijnanamaya kosha and anandamaya kosha. Out of these, the first the Annamaya Kosha comprises the Sthura Savira, while the second, third, fourth Koshas comprise the Sukshma Savira. The fifth Kosha is known as the Blissful Sheet, Anandamaya Kosha, comprising the Karana Savira. So when you go to deep sleep, ah, I had a good sleep. Ah, I enjoyed in good sleep. That means that Karana Savira you are enjoying. Or similarly, when you get some blissful experience, you can imagine some of the great uh, moments in life when you experienced Ananda. So, people even weep, Ananda Bashpas will come. <coughs> that is Ananda Maya Kosha. <coughs> the self of man exists independently of the shari, three Shariras and the Pancha Koshas. The body, mind, intellect, ego and all bodily functions are unreal. They appear to exist. They are real at that point of time. Appear to be real at that point of time. On the whole, they are not real. Atman is the witness of all these. It is beyond all these manifestations. But due to Maya, or <clears throat> all is identified with self. Now I also have to explain you three sattas, existences, three realities. The Vyavaharika Satta, the Pratibhaska Satta, and the Paramarthika Satta. Paramarthika Satta is Brahman, Om. Vyavaharika Satta is, now it is 8 o'clock, we have to close. Now, the bell will ring, then you have to go out. All this is Vyavaharam. And then in between is the Pratibhaska Satta. Oh, I went to marriage, I came here, I have uh, my wife, I have my son, I am so-and-so, I am having this address. All that Jivatma Lakshanas is Pratibhaska Satta. It appears to exist, reflected reality. Yavarika Satta is just a practical business reality. And both are in Illusions. Only Paramarthya Satta is the truth, which is Brahman. Shankaracharya in his Vivek Chodamani proposed fourfold practices in the path of Jnana Yoga. They are called the Sadhana Chatushthaya. Viveka, one should gain knowledge of reality by discriminating between real and unreal. Practice of this takes to deeper layers of the individual, like activities, mind, Ego and further to the superposition of covering of the self, superimposition, adhyasa, superimposition covering of the self gradually that will also put to discriminative analysis and reality comes direct face to face. Then second is vairagya, vairagya renunciation or dispassion, detachment, disgust with all worldly objects implies <coughs> strong dis Passion and non attachment. From Vairagya arises true knowledge. Patanjali also said that Param Purushakya there Guna Vaishya. With the attainment of that knowledge comes a natural withdrawal from 
sensual pleasures. As long as you are carried away with the enjoyments, then you will never get anywhere near moksha. Hogaratova. The practice of shama, shama dhamma dhishatka sampatti, shama dhamma uparati, pitiksha and samadhana. The practice of calmness, shama means peaceful calmness, dhamma is self-control and strict discipline and uparati is mental restraint to the external objects and titiksha is the mental calmness in the circumstances and sraddha is the teacher and samadhana is self-settledness. So mumukshatvam and the last sixth, these are this four sadhana chatushtaya sampatti mumukshatvam or intense yearning for liberation. In Jnana Yoga, one has to purify the consciousness by Sravana, Manana and Nididhyasa methods. The practice of one is superior to the other. When one, when one attains the state of Nididhyasana, he reaches Nirvikalpa Samadhi. So the procedure is what is being shown in Yoga. It's not that Yoga and Vedanta are independent. The experience of so, Nirvikalpa Samadhi, the highest goal of man, according to Jnana Yoga, cannot be expressed in human language. So, I have covered Jnana Yoga today. Tomorrow we will cover Bhakti Yoga. Tomorrow means Monday. So, we will close now. If you have any questions, you can ask. <clears throat> Anybody has questions? Uh, raise your hands. Else, uh, we'll go for prarthana and Jani uh, uh, Anybody? All of you are there, I uh, hope, are still in uh, Yoga Nidra. <laughs> <laughs> Our real Nidra. <laughs> Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you for the time you have given for us. Uh, today, uh, I think now we will go for Prarthana and uh, Janaganamana. Uh, Anantanji? Please do Prarthana. Mm. You have to unmute. Ah. Om Susti Prajabya Paripa Layantam Nyayena Margena Mahim Mahisha O Bram Hanebya Shubhamas Tunityam Loka Samasta Sukino Bavantu Ale Vashatu Pajanya. Prutivi Sashalini Teshoyam Shoba Rahitaha Brahm Hana Santu Nirbaya Aputra Putrina Santu Putrina Santu Poutrina Adhana Sadhana Santu Jeevan to Sharadam Shatam Sarve Bhavantu Sukinaha Sarve Santu Niramaya Sarve Bhatrani Pashyantu Makaschidhukha Bhag Bhavet Om Asatoma Sadgamaya Tamasoma Jyotir Gamaya Prutyorma Amrutangamaya Om Shanteshante Shantihi Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachyate Pur Nasya Pur Nama Daya Pur Nami Vava Sishyate Om Shante 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 Arihi Om Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha Arihi Om Namaskara Namaskara Vandi, thank you. Dhaniwadam. So let us now do Janaganamana. Sing Janaganamana. Chala Chiti Prabhupada.
जनगणमन अधिनायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता पंजाब सिंधु गुजरात मराठ द्राविड उत्कल बंगा विंध्य हिमाचल यमुना गंगा उच्छल जलदि तरंग तव शुभ नामे जागे तव शुभ आशीष मांगे गाहे तब जय गाथा जन गण मंगल दायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता जय हे जय हे जय हे जय 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 हे जय हे जय धन्यवाद मैं चला